What's going on everyone? I'm Janelle from OIS Training and today we are doing a video inside my client's house, Jen and Scott. So today's video is all about meal prep and what goes into it. Um, so we're going to make a few meals today. We're going to do a chili and we're going to do a... Scott, I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> If you're looking to lose weight, find recipes that are amazing and just want to know what I do in a day as a personal trainer, um, this is the place to be. Follow me on my next 100 pound weight loss journey in 2020. Losing 300 pounds brought me here. I can't wait to share my next 100 pound weight loss journey with you. Before we get into this video, hit that subscribe button and let's go into our meal prep. <laughs> So this is Scott and he is um, one of our clients. He's been a client for a really long time and we are doing a meal prep. We were having a discussion the other day uh, during his personal training session with his wife, Jen, who's hiding um, <laughs> um, about like he comes home earlier. So he's always left stuck with the cooking and Jen works later. So she doesn't when she gets home, it's quite late. So, she, you know, the meal prep and the meals are kind of falls on Scott. So we're gonna do a chili and a pork loin, and we're gonna use the good old Instapot. So let's bring out all the ingredients for the chili and do the chili okay. first. and then we're gonna turn on the saute function and we're gonna saute all of these vegetables and turkey before we pressure cook it. So in here we have our saute button. We're gonna do for about six minutes. This will just start on its own and it'll start to um, yeah. So Scott, at this point, this is when you have all your, there you go. So it's starting away. So this is the ground turkey and this is from Costco. Yes. yes. Costco ground turkey and then we're gonna take the onions and the celery. We're gonna put the meat in first, get the brown on that. We're gonna put the onions and celery in next. And we're gonna get that all mixed up together, get a really good fragrance and cook going. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna dump everything in and we're gonna turn this on pressure cook for 10 minutes and it's gonna make the chili. So I know it sounds crazy, but it's gonna, <laughs> you're just like, what? Oh, please get what I see. It. This is starting to heat up. You can put some oil in here if you like, um, if you really like to get a good, because ground turkey doesn't have a lot of fat in it, whereas like ground beef would have tons of fat and you want to, wouldn't want to add oil, but I don't really like to add calories and stuff. So I'm just going to dump this in, and we're making a big batch of chili because we're not only going to use this tonight, but he's also going to have another meal for another day. And when I make chili myself at home, I do, um, so if we have chili the first night, we'll just have chili, and then the second night I like to do it over a baked potato, or french fries, or something like that, you know, like chili fries, mm -hmm. or maybe like, I take it and I'll put it with nachos, so. Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. So as you saw, I pressed saute, yep. and I pressed more. So right. let's see, this says low, normal, more. And then we just went for like six minutes. You can hear it. Yeah. Sorry to fry the meat. And it's already starting to like. So that's what we want to do. We just want to get a cook on it and make sure that it's brown a bit. Even though it's still going to cook when it's pressure cooked. But I like to have it a little bit more crumbly. Mm -hmm. The ground turkey is quite wet, so it sticks together in big clumps. Yeah. If you just shove that in there without it and just pressure cook it, it would just be one lump, and then you'd have to kind of break it up when you. I mean, you could do it that way. I'm sure people do, um, but I would like to have it a little bit more crumbly before I put everything else in. But yeah, like I was saying, we do chili, we do chili potato, or we do chili fries, and then if I have some left over, 
what I'll do is I'll either freeze it or I'll dump it in tomato sauce and just put it over pasta. You know it has the kidney beans that has some protein and stuff like that, so. so we're not gonna add our chili spice yet. We're just gonna get this a little bit done. So the other meal that you wanna make is the pork loin. Pork loin, yeah. Yeah. And what are we doing with the pork loin? What do you how do you like to season it? How do you like to flavor it? So there's different ways that you could do a pork loin. There's one where you just slow cook it, so we can do that after this. Mm -hmm. um, or you could cut it up in medallions and stick it in your oven, however you want to do it. Um, but we're going to slow cook it. Okay. How do you get it so it, you shred it? I saw the girl on YouTube, she just takes her fix pan and just pour her around. That's what I do. If I'm at crunch and the kids are hungry, then yeah, we're, I just take my cake batter thing yeah. and just push. Done. You can do that with chicken. That's what she did with or, chicken. While I'm doing this, usually I'm prepping something else. So I'm doing like what we're going to do with this all in this one. So I get to Scott check this out, see how it's getting. This is what we want. We want it to be cooked. Yep. Now we're going to add in our onions and celery. You can also. After you add in all the main chili ingredients, like your tomatoes and your beans and all that kind of stuff, if you want to even bulk it up further, you could add in, say, some quinoa or some people add rice. So remember, you're making a batch of two, right? So put in two scoops in. That's about two packages. Be generous. I usually go. You're, we're also used to the El Paso from the States, which is spicier. So maybe a little bit more. There you go. Nice big scoop. Mix it up. You mix it up. Put your lid on. So you gotta bring it this way. And yeah, okay. So now we're gonna do pressure cook. So you can put on pressure cook. And we're gonna go once we push it again, so we're gonna go on high, and then we're gonna go down. So we want shredded pork, and what are you doing with the shredded pork? No, you don't push anything. Don't push anything. Is it already on pressure cook, the little bell? It does it all its own on its own. Okay. Do you want me to do it or do you want me to do it? I'll do it. Okay. So you're going to turn this dial this way and you're going to make sure that your hand isn't over top, it's to the side, right? Okay. Yep. Now you can take your lid off. Okay. Now we'll take that spoon. Oh, that looks good. Look, it's all healthy. It smells good. <laughs> this is a perfect little So this is our finished product. This is the turkey chili that uh, Scott made. And it is a little bit more watery than he wanted, but we could always add some more stuff like crushed tomatoes. And when he has it over rice, the rice will obviously absorb um, most of the liquid. Um, you could do, he doesn't really like it, but you could put quinoa in there and that would just take all that juice right out of there. Um, at this point, because it's still hot, I would just literally stir in a quarter cup of quinoa and it would absorb all of that liquid and yeah, it'd be good. Another thing that me and Connor like to do is we like to add barbecue sauce and pineapple and make it like a barbecue pineapple um, chili. Um, so yeah, it uh, looks really good. I'm super excited about this for them. Okay, so we are doing a pork loin. Nice. Into the Instapot. We are going to put sweet potato or yam. Potato. Yeah, is this a sweet potato or a yam? Oh, we don't know. Fight in the comments. <laughs> We're gonna add some of this for some garlic flavor. 
We love garlic. It's amazing. Awesome. And then we're going to add. Thank you. So what I would do. What do you need? Well, I would just dump it in. But if you're measuring this, I would probably do like start with maybe half a cup at first. Okay. But I'm just gonna literally dump it in until I cover the. Until I cover the yeah. Uh, the thing. Pork loin. Pork loin. And then, um, I don't think that's enough liquid. You're going to need a little bit of liquid to press to cook it. So okay. do you want to use some of that chicken stock again? Yeah. So this, I'm just going to add a splash just to, like that much. Mm -hmm. So maybe like a quarter cup. We're going to pressure cook and we'll do it for 15 minutes and it'll be done. 15 minutes to cook that roast. Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot of space in there, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna take a while to build pressure, and this is maybe where your mm -mm. a smaller the pressure more cooker stuff would be better. It, the more stuff that's in it, the longer it takes. Oh really? The less stuff, the quicker it is. Think mm. of boiling water. If you boil eggs, if you have one egg, it'll boil really fast. But if you've got five eggs in there, it'll take longer to boil. Right? Have you ever done eggs in there? No, but everybody says it's amazing. Yeah, you gotta do the five-five-five method. The what? Five minutes of cooking, five minutes of natural release, and five minutes of cold water. Apparently, the eggshell just falls. The eggshell just falls off. Well, I better do that because I hate peeling my eggs. True. I always say to Connor, if I'm rich, I would literally get someone to fill my tank full of gas and peel my eggs for me. That would be their only job, <laughs> true. and they would just hang out all day in case I needed an egg peeled or my gas needed to be Like the trunk monkey? You know, <laughs> <laughs> open your trunk, they come out, and peel the gas, back in the trunk. Absolutely. But they would have to peel my eggs as well. <laughs> so we're making chicken. We are making chicken for burrito bowls with pepper. Of the, the stickiness and stuff. If you ever find that your rice is super mushy or like comes out kind of clumpy, it's because it needs to be rinsed. Um, rice has like this, I want to say glutinous type thing over top of it. I mean, it's not gluten, but it's like something like that. And you just put it in a metal colander and you rinse it until it runs clear and it'll come out nice and fluffy every single time. Tiny pieces of chicken. It's funny because I used to be like, meat, 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 meat. And then sort of as you get the smaller, you still get the taste, it still has everything, but the portion size is smaller and then it just gives you room for more veggies and stuff. And it's just fantastic. We try to do three to one. So three to three vegetables to one protein. Mm -hmm. I wish I could be on that show. Remember that show where the, the guy would bring the box and it had like four ingredients and you had to fill the recipe out of it. So that is like my favorite thing. She's talking about Iron Chef. Oh. Oh. The original Iron Chef where they have the yeah, yeah, Iron Chef, yeah. mystery so challenge, the mystery I, challenge. Yeah. That, would, that would be my jam. Like someone calls me and I'm like, I have chicken, I have this, and this, and I'm like, oh, all the recipes. Yeah. Everyone's just like. <laughs> what is it supposed to be at? At least 150. We're in the 172. Really? So that, Add some fat. <laughs> that is, oh yeah, you can feel it's got a tenderness to it. But the potato is just like, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Magic. So yeah, we're gonna take the potatoes out. Do we still need to have a vegetable with this? We should steam that broccoli mixture that you bought. So is there is there a nutritional difference between steaming and, and boiling? Yes. So boiling will take out most of the nutrition as if you boil it till it's mushy. Right. But if you boil it for like three, four minutes max, then you're good. Okay, so I need two forks. So what I do is I just start oops, opening it and shredding it. So I shred. Oh, so I shred. I know right now you guys are thinking, well, this doesn't look very teriyaki to me. We're gonna put this back in that pot and let it sop up all that teriyaki sauce. This is me. This is me <laughs> written all over it. It's 
Oh dear god. <laughs> That's friggin' amazing. That's tender. Mm hmm. Very good. Thank you. So now you have all these wonderful things already made for the week. Just finished filming at Scott and Jen's, and we are on our way home now. Thanks, Scott and Jen. Thank you, Scott and Jen, for having us mm -hmm. and letting us take over your kitchen. <laughs> uh, we made some really good recipes, and we're super excited for that. Um, if you want to see more of this meal prep stuff, let us know in the comments, and let us know what type of meal prep you're looking for, whether it be breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, dinner ideas, or snack ideas. Because um, we have our snack guide right now that's in the description, and you can um, check that out and take the free link and get our free snack guide. Maybe this one doesn't have a countdown, it just is on. Well, that's silly. Oh. Oh, oh, look at that! Look at that! If you don't do anything long enough, <laughs> it'll do it itself. It's got some kick to it. It's yep. got the extra stuff in it. <laughs> yep, yeah, that extra scoop that I shouldn't have put in. <laughs> I don't in like less. leftovers either, Scott. Like, I really don't. But I also don't like being in debt. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I had to get over it. Yeah. It was probably a bit too much with our personal trainer standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> and then also to thicken it up, if you wanted, you could add quinoa. Not, Not going to happen. Oh. <laughs> Training and today we are doing a video inside my client's house, Jen and Scott. So today's video is all about meal prep and what goes into it. Um, so we're going to make a few meals today. We're going to do a chili and we're going to do a... Now that I can see you. <laughs> waited. You're officially in the bloopers. <laughs> 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 You're doing the whole intro, and I can just see Scott's hand. 